I can't go back anymore, guys. All right, here goes nothing. S sorry about that. Let's keep going. S so you're about to meet Asker, huh? You must be. You must be pr pr pretty excited about all that, huh? You're finally. You'll finally get to go home. Wait, can I call? <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> bad, bad time, bad time, sorry. Um. Well, this is it, I guess. What, wait! I mean, um, I. I was just going to, um, say goodbye and. I, I can't take this anymore. I. I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. If you want to go home, you have to take his soul. You have to kill Ascor. I'm sorry. Oh my God, Alphys. This sucks. This really sucks. Toriel, I'm fighting Ascor now. Nothing. Nothing to say. Papyrus Undyne. No, really? All right, here goes nothing. All right, here goes. Whoa, where are we? There is no special dialogue about that. There is isn't use. Oh, where are we? New home, I think. Right, is it what you call this place? Ooh, what is this music? It's so heartwarming. New home, let's go, we are here. It's like the Toriel's home, but not colored, I think, except for the flower for some reason. It's a golden flower. Hmm, flowy, I don't like you. Seems like gardening tools, yeah. It was like, I forgot, like, smoothing or something in Toriel's house. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. The coals are still warm. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. It's a golden flower. Oh, what? Oh my god, it scared me. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. So you're gonna give me a backstory. I love that. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. What? So it's a keychain? The stovetop is very clean. Someone must have used fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Should really uh, take some food now? Now I think about it. So how is the snowman piece doing though? Please take this to the end of the earth. I guess we are doing that, I think. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. There is a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes, sir. The hardship. Okay. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yeah, let's take that. You're carrying two. Oh, okay, fine. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Yep, take it. Got the worn dagger. Put the empty gun inside. This is my uh, uh, armor and weapon collection. It's really cool. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a twin size bed. Dusty toys. It's a drawing of a golden flower. Room under renovation. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain again. It's Ascor's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's just a chair. It's a king size bed. Macaroni art of a flower. For King Dad, it's a burial, right? Oh my god, I don't know how to say that word. There's a Santa Claus outfit. Yeah, I know it! Asgore is Santa Claus in the underground. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand kit sweater that says Mr. Dad Die. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Despite everything, it's still you. So can I open that up? You unlock the key. Chain! Chain! Oh my god! There's a no calendar from the end of 2010X. A date is circle on it. Oh, oh my god, I keep being scared. Then, 
One day, the human became very ill. Please tell me more. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, wracked with guilt, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed the truth barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Astro smiled and walked away. Wounded, Astro stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. And that's how Flowey came to be, isn't it? The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asker will let us go. There's three different dialogues at the same time. I didn't read that. I thought it was the same. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Last corridor. And there we go. Sans is on the other side. I did nothing wrong, Sans. Where did the bell come from? I don't like this. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. Your every act. Oh my god, I'm sorry. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. See, guys? A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you killed someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for the level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capability to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easy you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gain any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gain love, but you gain love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. 
But if you kill Asgard and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right! You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright, we are all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Here we go, see? This is why you should do true pacifist route. Nothing goes wrong in the last corridor. The throne room. Okay, down here is a coffin, I think, right? It's a coffin. There is a name engraved on it. Kara. It's empty. Yeah, man, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Yep. <laughs> Do -de -dum. Oh, it's someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished w watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I am not ready either. So let me just save. Here goes nothing. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished businesses, please do what you must. Continue or go back. Well, I think there's nothing left. Let's continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? There we go, the souls. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. We can talk about this Haskell, right? Let's go! Music, I love this! Talk. You quietly tell Haskell you don't want to fight him. Sam tremble for a moment. <gasps> e. Okay, oh, that's not that bad. Let's check, let's see. Haskell, AD, whoa, okay. This one is like the Toriel one, right? Oh no. Deals like 5 damage? Oh jeez. Tell us that you don't want to fight him. This breath gets funny for a moment. I'm gonna die, man. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, let's try. Uh... Wait, where is my butterscotch pie? There we go. You ate the butterscotch pie. You can has maxed out. The smell reminds Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down, Asgore's defense down. Blue, blue. Alright, don't move. Alright, okay. Come on, man. You don't have to fight, Asgore. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. The collection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drop. Asgore defense drop. I think we actually have to fight. Yeah, definitely. But, oh man. Let's lower his stat real quick. Kind of feel kind of bad doing this, but... Fucking wouldn't do any more good. Oh, it's this one. 
Well, it's time to fight, guys. Oh my god, 138. Now. Blue, blue, blue. Okay. One hundred fifty. Ow. Man, it kind of feels bad fighting, but there's nothing we can do at this point. Okay. Ah, no. Okay, maybe we can eat some uh, monster candy. There we go. Oh my god, we get hit twice already. I don't know why. Ow. What? Blue, blue, blue? Okay, okay. Whoa, what the? Escort, I'm so sorry about this. Whoa! What the? Oh no! What? Oh, oh my brain hurts. Okay, let's eat a, another glam burger. Ow. I'm so sorry, Escor. Uh, eat again, uh, Glam Burger. I'm not gonna eat the snow pie, guys. I mean, snowman piece. Oh, every single time. What? 691? Bro. Ah. So, that's how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was a void of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want this power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No, of course not, Escort. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? 
Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Oh no! <gasps> Flowey, what have you done? Okay, so yeah, it happens. Even if it's in the pacifist, Ascar still dies the first time. Okay, I understand. What have you done, Flowey? You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's killed or be killed. No! And it closes my game. And there we go. If I launch Undertale this time, it, you know, stuff glitches and Blaoui takes control and yeah. Mm -hmm. One day, the all disappear without a trace. Oh my god, scary. What? Uh, that's not my file, guys. Uh oh. Blaoui took over the whole game. What am I supposed to do? Um, uh oh. Oh no. Flower race. Well, <laughs> rip everything I've been working for. Howdy, it's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy. I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have the soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Aw, you are feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world! Oh, and forget about escaping to your old safe file. It's gone forever! But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over! What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Look at you, what is this? What are you now? You're not with a flower anymore. You get hurt over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Oh, this sucks, dude. Bro. Ah, fight. Ah, I, I think, right? Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, dude. Uh oh. This is all just a bad dream. Wait, how is Astro still talking? And you're never waking up. Oh no. Um. How is Astro still talking now? That's weird. Oh no. So every time I die, it closes my game? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied killing you only one time? Oh my god, ah! Uh, dude, what? Bro, we're dying. Pathetic, now you're really gonna die.
Okay, I think, okay, finally. Ah. Uh, oh, what? Oh. Ow. You called for help. <laughs> help me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Give me off it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ow. 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 Oh, uh, three damage now? Uh, that's significantly better. Yeah, totally. No, not this again. Ugh. Orange soul. Oh no. Where's the act button? Ah! Ah! <laughs> act, you call for help. Oh. Give me all of it. No! I didn't heal the finish! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, keep loading the file. I can heal back up though. That's great. Come on, keep loading up. Okay, Blue Soul, come on. Please help me. Please. Whoa. The ballot shoes? No. E. Come on. Come on, I need help. Oh, thank you. Ooh, thank you so much, Purple Soul. Perseverance, I think, right? <laughs> 16 damage? That's definitely better. Okay, this one's the easiest. Ah, oh, never mind. Never, ah, I got hit. Again. Oh my god. No, 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 Please, please, purple soul, help! <sighs> what are you doing with the notebook? Your, oh, the notebook and the cloudy glasses, right? Ah, stop, stop, sorry. <laughs> oh my, oh my god, wait a Act, 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 you call for help. Which is in vertical, okay. Oh. No, that's not enough! Stop it! You can't do that to me! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Come on. Green soul, kindness, right? Your kindness soul. Please help me, don't kill me now, please. I did nothing wrong, come on. What? I know you cook stuff for people, but why are you killing me with the fire? I don't understand. <laughs> please, please help, please help. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what atomic bombs? What the hey? Fight. 25? That sucks. Okay, yellow so Come on, come on. No, <sighs> oh, why are you shooting me? You're the one with the, the loaded gun? <sighs> help! Help! Ah! Hell! Oh, thank you. Yoink. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, there we go. Yes, souls, help me. Please, please, please. I need your help. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Alright. Let's do this. So we won last time. Drop to zero. Okay. I can dodge it now, finally. There we go. Alright, come on. I can do this. Ow. Why am I- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yo! Dude, whoa! Stop! Come on. Come on. Come on! No! Come on! Ah! Let's go! Haha! <laughs> no! No! This can't be happening! You! You! Oh, um, well, that sucks. You idiot. Ah! <laughs> Are you done yet? Oh no. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? I'm the god of this world, and you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You're a worthless friend. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does to you. You called for help. You sure, man? I can call the soul, you know? The souls? But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to see you die. <laughs> what is that? What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Uh, what? Where are my powers? Haha, -ha, noob. The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You were supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Shut up. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. And uh, where am I? Uh, 
What? Undertale. What? What happened? Wait, this is not the end, is it? Wait, what? Uh... Hello? Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say you made a snowman really happy. Oh, yeah, I bring the snowman, right? Guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared, so uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope, so uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second, I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we are helping Dr. Elphis with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too, though to be honest, her method of helping seems kinda explosion including. But I think Elvis likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Nah. Please don't noggle the foon. Hey, who is in charge here? Me? Oh yeah, that's right. I quit my job as the leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. Oh my god, I feel so sad for Papyrus, man. There's uh, only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't noggle the skeleton. Anyways, now I am working as Elfie's lab assistant. We are gonna find a way to get off this dump once and for all. Oh yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's new school. Do you know I can branch press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to do. It's not your fault, he... <sighs> Darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Elphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm here supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get here. There, I'm sorry. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes, we'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We are all with you, everyone is, even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... Heh, <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the foot back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare her from you. Spare you from her. Oh my god, I'm sorry. But call back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of battery, so hate to cut this short, but be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Come on, man. I need the true pacifist. I don't feel satisfied with this. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. We made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you just had gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. 
If you really did everything the way right, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You have to load your safe file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Elvis? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she got the key to your happiness? See you soon. Okay, so if I load back my safe file... Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm, this is the same. There we go. Continue the end. Yep, there we go. We are back here again.